Hey you guys, I have a book review. I finished The Christie Affair by Nina de Gramont last night, and I gave this three stars. So this had a lot of potential. It had Agatha Christie vibes, it had historical fiction vibes, all that going for it. Good writing, it had a lot of buzz in the literary world, but it fell terribly flat for me, even though it is a, a stunner of a cover. So this tells what happened to Agatha Christie when she disappeared in the 20s and no one knows really where she went, what happened to her, and this author surmises what she thinks and she puts it in the narration of the mistress of Christie's husband. Again, it had a lot of potential. I went in really wanting to like this book and for about 90 pages, it was really good. But it never really bridged over to more Agatha Christie. It was mostly about the mistress and her point of view, her story before she met the Christies, which, while interesting, that really wasn't the plot of the book, I thought. I also didn't like the way the author portrayed Agatha Christie. In my mind, she was a tough chick. She was a strong woman. Sure, she had emotions. She was only human. And that's fine. However, the author kind of paints her in a very weak light. And there were things that she did in the story that I don't think the real Christie would have done or acted upon regarding her husband's mistress. If it walks like a duck, it's a duck. So if it's going to be about the mistress, then it should have been about the mistress. But it really pretends to be about Agatha Christie and her disappearance and more of that. And yeah, it just felt really weak in that marketing. If you're a true Agatha Christie fan, I don't think you'd enjoy it. So three stars, in my opinion, for Goodreads.